in the newsroom. I'm Holly Grunny. In tonight for Don Lemon, Occupy Wall Street is now global. Demonstrations erupted in cities around the world today in a display of worldwide frustration. We haven't seen since this protest began about a month ago. This peaceful demonstration in Buenos Aires was uh, fairly typical. This was the scene in London. Thousands of people converged in front of St. Paul's Cathedral to hear WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. He made an appearance today. Several people were arrested in London. The most notable unrest was in Rome. Look at these images. Police blame anarchists for taking advantage of the large gathering to throw firebombs and break store windows, forcing riot police to move in with water cannons and tear gas. Some of the protesters say their movement was hijacked by these troublemakers in Rome. CNN's Susan Candiotti is in New York. This is where the movement began with Occupy Wall Street. And the protesters of Occupy Wall Street, Susan, have now entered Times Square in Manhattan. What's happening there right now?
building on fire. Uh, many windows are broken. They also, you know, they, they wanted to get the other protesters. At one point, though, the peaceful protesters were throwing bottles at the violent protesters, trying to get them out of their, their large. around the world. We'll have more on the Occupy movement, what its demands are, what the frustrations are among those who are protesting tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern.